After Hillary's colostomy bag shows, you were spot red flag hanging from her neck. By that conservative girl, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Over the weekend, Hillary Clinton spoke at Ozzy Fest, a two-day festival in Central Park, which has nothing to do with the Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, she uh, donned an ill-fitting moomoo for the occasion, but viewers still spotted what they claimed was a colostomy bag that she had strapped uh, on underneath. Now more photos from the event have surfaced and it seems there was another red flag Hillary hoped we wouldn't notice. This one was hanging from her neck. I can't control myself with the title. She's fallen before and she's needed help getting up. Maybe that's why Hillary Clinton appeared to be wearing a life alert emergency button necklace during her appearance in New York City according to the American Mirror. Twitter user Comfortably Smug posted a photo of Clinton posing with a fan while she was in Central Park for the Aussie Fest. The Twitter user then noted that Hillary's necklace looked very similar to the Life Alert emergency device made famous for the I've Fallen and Can't Get Up commercials. There she is. Look at her. Doesn't she look great? While we cannot confirm if the awkward necklace Hillary was wearing this weekend was indeed a life alert device during her remark, she did complain of exhaustion resulting from pro protesting President Donald Trump. You would think that she'd tuck something like that into her uh, shirt, Mumu. But Hillary isn't exactly famous for self-awareness. It could have fallen out without her even noticing. That's what I thought. I said, why didn't she tuck it in at least? Yeah, Hillary Clinton's health has been the subject of speculation ever since she was on the campaign trail in the run-up to the 2016 election. The two-time presidential loser barely made it through the rigors of the campaign trail this last time, struggling to climb just a few steps at a time and at one point collapsing into the arms of her aides before she shuffled, they shuffled her into the van uh, waiting by the curbside. But despite a slew of incidents that would suggest Hillary isn't exactly the picture of health, she has refused to address the concerns of the American people regarding her medical status, which has only led to more speculation and less faith that she has the chops to hold up in any sort of political office. It seems obvious to anyone with even the smallest bit of common sense that Hillary is trying to hide something. What exactly no one knows save her inner circle and you can uh and you can bet none of them are going to breathe a word lest they end up in a dumpster that's for sure but why all the secrecy wouldn't it be easier just to come clean at this point she's already lost the white house twice what more does she have to lose or in hillary's own words what difference does it make well, actually, it would make quite a big difference if the American people went to na uh, were to now learn that uh, Hillary misled them all during the last election. It would make quite a big difference if we found out that she does, in fact, have some very serious medical issues that could negatively uh, impact her performance uh, had she uh, been voted into office. Uh, if that were the case, she'd be ruined. Any aspiration she had of running again in 2020 crushed. So don't expect Hillary Clinton to come clean anytime soon, even though it is overwhelmingly obvious at this point that her health is declining and has been for some time. After all, when have you known this woman to be forthcoming or truthful? That's a big fat never. Yeah, but how about her handlers when she was making a speech that they uh, keep going, they were telling her, where she would like black out. And, uh, and she said, okay, I'm back. Like, really? Like, it's so obvious what she said. I'm back from where? From her, um, 
someplace floating around in her mind. I don't know what to say. Can you imagine if Trump was wearing that, what they'd have to say? The media would be all over it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.